Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So today, we're going to be working on the high short ball put away. I got my man Chris here, who's on the ITF tour, that needs to be working on this. Because we need to put away that kill shot all the time. Alright, we don't want to see that shot coming back. And if it comes back, it's going to go over Chris's head. Chris doesn't want that. Okay, because we can't be running sprints all the time, um, especially after we think the point is over. Okay, so my man Goo is going to be feeding Chris on some drills of what we're going to do today. So what are we going to do today, today, Coach? So today we're going to work on the short high balls that most people like would see when someone attacks. Like, for example, if you hit a great ball, the ball, the ball pops up, it's short and a little high and most people struggle with is like how do i deal with those balls how do i deal with a high floater ball that's a little bit up here so we're going to work on that and focus on actually how simple it is and just working on just transferring the weight in contact right so if you're like my level we've been launching it to the fence just so we, because oh shoot i work so hard and this is my put away and i get way over excited and i hit it way too hard and it goes way out so I'm gonna have a professional here show you how it's done with another professional, all right? So hold tight. All right, coach, can you explain what the drill is for today? Yeah, so the drill we're gonna do today is, so Chris is gonna start on the baseline. We're gonna feed him short high balls. Every time he hits that short high ball, he always has to finish. He has to take it up here and making sure that instead of going, dropping down and brushing all the way through, he has to get it in front enough that the racket take back, the take back has to be short. Therefore, when he contacts it, he's going forward and automatically that ball's gonna come through. So therefore, you don't need to add more power. It's all about timing and getting that ball in front and then finishing all the way through to your target. So we're essentially using your forward momentum to put away the ball. Yeah, so it's forward momentum, contact, and trying to, yeah, those two things. So contact in front and just using forward momentum. Got it. So Chris, what did you feel with those, with those uh, putaways? So the biggest thing is that I'm making sure that my feet are set. And after I take uh, follow through with my body, I feel my momentum is going forward into the court more. So say if I hit a really good um, put away shot, I might want to follow up going up to the net and maybe putting away a volley that they might happen to get back. Coach, how did he do? He did really well. Um, you can tell from his footwork. The biggest thing is his footwork as well. It's just how he is in position, using his feet, he's using a lot of adjustment steps when he gets to the ball because you know the ball is always moving. You can, you can, always, you can never predict where it's gonna go. So he, when he keeps moving his feet, he's gonna set himself to a great position. And then you can tell when he swings through, he actually stays relaxed. There's not a lot of tension. He actually, short, short, his short take back is out in front and he's going through, allowing himself to throw his body forward to the ball naturally. Therefore, when he's finishing, you can see he has that natural coverage over his right leg. That Therefore, when he comes into the net, he's already moving up to the net naturally. Chris, like many people on the club level, recreational level, um, we tend to get a little overexcited when we see a ball like that. And we tend to launch that into the fence or out. Um, how do you keep from doing that yourself? So uh, what works best for me is that um, as soon as I see that short ball come up, um, I need to do my best to run up and meet it. Um, timing is really critical, so, and you don't get many of those chances in a match. So as I see that ball too, as soon as I go and bring my body forward into the shot, I also exhale too, so breathing is really important to make sure you exhale through contact. 
Um, and those are some of the things that I find that are pretty helpful um, as I'm hitting that shot. So a lot of us, as I keep emphasizing, we get excited with, over the shot because we feel that we're gonna win the point with this shot. Now, how do we not overrun it? Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, there it is, I'm gonna go. And then they figure out it bounces real close to them. And then suddenly, you know, you don't have the kill shot. Like, how do you prevent that? It's perception. A lot of it is making sure that you read the ball um, that's coming over ahead of time. So even if, so even you plan ahead of time for the shot that you hit before, um, say if you hit something that is you know a bit more penetrating, well maybe you'll get something that's a bit more short back. So you're already kind of ready um, and and looking for that short ball. Uh, you know the conditions might be tough. Sometimes it might be windy, or sometimes the ball might take a funny bounce. But the key is always making sure that you've you've got your feet. Um, and uh, ready, um, making sure that you're anticipating what kind of ball really, and, and just doing your best to really put the ball back in um, and going from there, so. Ideally, where do we want to catch that ball? Like, where do we want so, to catch it? So, most of the time with these balls, you want to catch it in front. So if you get it behind you, that's where you get a little trouble is, if you get it behind you, you're gonna start feeling like you're forcing your shot. That doesn't become natural. So the biggest thing is always trying to get in front of you because when you go in front, you can at least have some leeway to play around with just trying to create your target and finishing through. That's when the biggest thing is trying to finish through that shot, right? If there's no follow through and you take it behind you, it's going to be a whole different shot. So do we want to like allow it to come to shoulder level? I would say that's a good question. It depends on the player. Most of the time, it's you want to take it to the range of where the ball is going. So shoulder level is the most I would say the best position in those situations for those high balls. Mm -hmm. Anything higher beyond that will be more of like you have to back off. But most of the time it's shoulder level and you're getting it here. I mean, that's the sweet spot of most of the shots you're gonna hit. Or a smash or an overhead, right? If it's mm -hmm. something that's above the head, that's most likely the case you're gonna put it away with a, a smash mm -hmm. or an overhead. Um, but for the most you know, time, if you're, if you're stuck on time, it's, it's more just looking for just adapting um, to that. Yeah. yeah, adapting to the different height and then using your body at the last to, to go through the ball. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got another drill here. Uh, we're going to have the kill shot go to the backhand side, and we're going to run around the backhand to kill it on the forehand, which Coach Andrew says is a much more difficult and complex shot. Why is that? So with the inside-out forehand, it's actually one of the toughest um, forehands out there because it just requires a ton of footwork and a ton of physicality to the shot So the biggest thing is one creating that space So therefore you don't get jammed in if you get jammed in you can't accelerate through the shot or fall through Two, um, it's just it's a whole different angle. It's not like many other shots. It's not straight up It's not going towards you. You have to force your body to go the other direction And three is the contact the contacts different. It's not in front anymore. It's not in front, but it's not coming through the same angle. It's coming from this angle. So you have to sit open, have a different open stance, what I call the semi-open stance, and you're driving through the target on that. Okay, coach, explain the drill. So what we're going to start off with is you're going to start in front of the cone. I'll feed a short ball inside out. And he's going to go around in front and drive through and recover after he finishes. Recovers back around the cone. Same what happens around and finish it all the way through. So he has to finish the shot all the way through to make sure that he feels that forward momentum going to that target. Okay, coach, uh, we got Chris here. So mm -hmm. Chris is gonna try some. So the thing that I noticed when you were feeding the balls was you said bigger target. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? So what I mean by bigger target is aiming not so close to the line because if you aim close to the line, there's basically a bigger, there's, you miss way more balls if you take it. 
try to take his line or just to a small target is because you're pinpointing. Except because when you're moving in, right, the only time you have to think of is trying to put the ball to a deep spot and then I just put it inside, I would say, not in the not in the middle, but at least to a big target to where you want to go. And then therefore when you're covering, it'll be a lot easier to cover. Right? If you miss it by like this, well, it's still out in tennis. So it's better to just go to a big target and trust your hands at net afterwards. So Chris, every shot that I saw you hit, um, you were pretty much airborne. Is that something that everybody should do? Um, well, to think about going airborne um, while you're hitting maybe is, it wouldn't help uh, many people. How I see it is after the fact that I'm you know, set up well to the shot, I'm using the momentum to go through the ball. So I'm using my legs to push through. So I'm actually not, uh, you, you might say airborne, but I'm actually going more um, um, horizontally through the court more. So um, airborne into the ball. Yeah, so and you, I'm using my legs, loading with my legs. Um, and then pushing myself into the into the ball, so that's why you see me go a little bit more, I guess if you say airborne, but it's really just through the ball a lot more. Um, that's probably a better way of saying it instead of airborne, because you know when you think of airborne, you think height, right? Right. Um, jumping up, but it's actually going through uh, the shot more into the court more. Got it. So you both agree with me that this is a very physical shot right if especially a drill like this yes right because yeah. we have to get to the ball we have to set up and then we have to kind of make sure we don't launch it but get forward momentum into that shot mm -hmm. right so yeah. it's a heavy put away yeah right I, it's it's one like i said it's one of the difficult shots is because we get this misinterpretation that the ball, like when it's so high and floaty, we think of it, oh, it's gonna bounce like just in front or just right in front of me, instead of actually just bounces to you. So therefore, you have to really like, like, search for that ball, right? You can't wait and just try to run up and try to take it right away. You have to predict of where it's, where it's gonna go, and then at that point, it's all about physicality and footwork and timing and throwing the ball. Got it. Okay. So guys, practice the shot. Uh, it's a physical shot. Do some of these drills that uh, Coach um, had Chris do today. Um, it's not easy, but if you want to win that point, if you want to win all those points that are like that, hey, practice it. Practice it, okay? Remember, stay relaxed through the shot. The tighter you are, the more chance is going to go out, okay? So I want to thank Coach Gu and Chris. Uh, for joining me today. Uh, for those of you who want to know where Coach Goo is, where can we find you, Coach? You can find me on Instagram. My handle is agu.tennis, and I'll be posting all this content there as well. So, Chris, um, you're on Instagram too. Where can we find you? Find me at Christopher Chen, C H uh, I E N. C H I E N. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.